When you turn something you love into a business, it changes everything. I was dabbling in gardening, found that I really loved gardening, and I read a book called The Flower Farmer and literally just followed the steps and launched my business in 1998 following that book and pursuing a local florist who really took me under his wing and helped me. And I feel like because I was so well received at first, it was easy to keep doing it. So in 1998, when I launched my first commercial garden, the name of my business was Ziegler Garden. I didn't really have a name. But then as I began kind of piggybacking on flower farming, I started teaching flower farming. I started teaching gardening to groups. Then I started wanting to sell some of the tools and stuff that I saw used in my own garden. Well, we needed to have a name of a business to be able to launch an online garden store. And we decided the Gardener's Workshop, because it is. This is my big workshop here. And um, so we launched an online store um, in 2005. And um, we just offer the tools and the seeds in my books, um, just the stuff we use. My message is simple and clear and concise because really organic gardening is so simple that people miss it and that's all we practice here. So when you share that with people, it tends to, you know, they don't have to read books this thick or, you know, have a, a degree in horticulture, which I don't. Um, all of my experiences have been gathered from life on my little flower farm and doing it. So speaking and sharing about that, I love writing, um, but I really love farming. I've tried to quit before. It doesn't work. Once it's in your blood, you just can't stop. So. So I really love all of it, really, I guess. But these areas that I've developed beyond farming have really grown to be a big part of my life.